Tristan Fields. Tristan Fields. Miss Fields, you have two registrations. Your motor vehicle, you want to get in front of the mic, please? Sure. <clears throat> Your Sorry. motor vehicle has been booted. This BR-776 isn't my, I had registered it for my kid's father a couple years ago. Um, we've been separated for almost three years, and I failed to get the place back from that car. Where are the plates now on the BR-776? I'm not sure. I, I believe that they're seized. I don't really have contact with my kid's father like that to, to okay. know. Well, the last time he, how, when's the last time you and he were living together? It's been about three years, Your Honor. Where is he now? Around Providence. How many Somewhere. children do you have? I have four. Yeah. How old are they? 13, 9, 8, 4. And they're all in school? Absolutely. On the vehicle that you drive, you have... I know, it looks extensive. You have 13 overnight parking tickets. That means you leave the car in front of your house overnight. Absolutely. Because you don't have a parking space. Well, I have a parking, I do, I did have a parking um, space. Well, the Appleton places, I really didn't, but on the Radcliffe, I did. It was just me being exhausted from working. Well, the question I'm asking you is, why do you leave the car on the street? Just me being exhausted, Your Honor. Just what? Speaking to the mic. Being exhausted. Just, do, you, do you work? I do. How many hours do you work? At that time, I was working 30 to 40. I'm a medical assistant. Well, well my, my question to you is, you have four kids. I do. And you're getting tickets every night. Oh, you, you got all these tickets. You're getting tickets parking in front of the house. When are you going to learn your lesson? I've learned them. Do you have a parking space now where you can park the car? Absolutely. What else do you want to tell me about this? Um, I'm just trying to get my life together. I understand I do owe on parking tickets. Um, I don't want to be negligent to that, but I'm just trying to get my life in order. I'm raising my children on my own um, and doing the best that I can. Here's the issue. First of all, trust me, I understand that you have four kids. And I know what it entails to have four children and to be the sole support of those kids. And for you doing that and working like you do, I congratulate you. I understand that. I understand that if you're tough and you don't have money, that the last thing on your mind is paying parking tickets because you have to feed the kids, you have to get the kids clothes, you have to take care of the kids. So that's your priority. I understand that too. You know. I'm having trouble understanding why, given all of those issues, that you, you continue to park on the street overnight. I'm not being critical. I'm not trying to criticize you. I should be congratulating you on, on some parts of your life that you take care of your kids and you're working. But it's irresponsible of you. you, you I, to give me a excuse. Well, I'm tired. We're all tired. You know. If you're tired and you've got a bunch of money and you want to pay the tickets, good, be tired. But you're tired, you've got four kids, that's your obligation. Mm -hmm. And you've got all these, these tickets are foolish. I mean, these aren't, these aren't crimes. It's just irresponsibility when it comes to parking. So you have two parts to your life. On this part with your kids, you're very responsible, right? You're a loving, caring mother, and you're working, trying to take care of the kids. On the other, on the other hand, right, you're doing something that's hurting that's that good part of you by being irresponsible. So I want to help you. Right. Now, here's, here's the deal. Don't come back. <laughs> Okay. When you get tired, say, I'm not, I'm not that tired that I can't go move the car. Okay? Move Absolutely. the car. Cause that, that's your problem. I mean, I also understand that in some municipalities you can park on the street overnight. You can't do that in Providence. Hmm. Right. There's a wonderful gentleman. By the name of Stephen Foraquin from Legacy Oaks. Legacy Oaks Court in Midland, Texas. And he has occasion to view some aspects of this court. And he actually sent me six $50 tickets. And what he said in the letter was, as I sit far away in Midland, Texas, my heart breaks for those before you who just need a little break. So he asked that I would use this to use, my, to use my discretion, I'm going to use one of these to help you pay your fine. Thank you. Thank you. So 
it. We're going to remove the boot compliments of Mr. Stephen Baraquan, okay? Thank you. Actually, his wife's name is on the check, too, Tammy. So we want to thank Tammy as well. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. That's going to release the boot. Now you get a total of $250. How much can you pay a week? $50? I could pay 200 today. Well, I'm going to have you pay 100 today. Okay. Thank you. And we'll credit this as well. So now you have a balance of $150. How much can you pay a week? 50. You can't pay 50 a week. All right, 25 a week. Okay, that's more realistic. I'm not gonna waste the city's resources chasing your, your, the father of your children. Because it's gonna be an exercise in futility. The tickets go back five years. We're never gonna find them. Uh, I can't really change it to his name anyway. Can't, cha can't change that to his name. We're never going to get the money. So even though you are responsible for that, I'm going to take a big burden off your head. Okay, I'm going to dismiss those tickets, even though they're in your name. You are legally responsible for them. And I'm exercising my judicial discretion. I'm going to dismiss them. Thank you so much. So that's not hanging over your head, okay? Pay this. Move the car. Continue to be a good mother, and God love you. Good luck to you. God bless you. Thank you. As you heard, I accused Miss Fields of being irresponsible. Many of you may think I was being too harsh on her, given that she's a single mother trying to raise four kids. However, it's exactly because of her circumstances that she doesn't have the luxury of making excuses. She has the responsibility to make good choices. I have no doubt that Tristan is an exceptional mother who really does want to get her life in order. I hope she accepts my small dose of tough love in the manner it was intended, which is supportive and hopefully motivational. Good luck, Tristan. And don't forget to move your car before you get too tired, okay? Alondra Ramirez. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, Alondra, you have three parking tickets and a red light violation. Let's look at the red light. It's, uh, okay. Take a look. This is on North Main and Branch Avenue. What's the time on that? 0.4. The city allows you two tenths of a second, and you went through the light four tenths of a second. But the reason is she was trying to stop, but then she didn't stop. So I'm going to give you a break on the red light violation. I don't know about stopping. I didn't see any brake lights. She was stopping. 27 miles an hour? She was trying to stop. Okay. Were you trying to Oh, I see it now, Judge. <laughs> Get close to the mic. Were you trying to I stop? The wrong video. Was. Watch this. Look at her. Yes. Were you trying to stop? Oh, come on. We're having some fun with you. Don't get nervous. <laughs> I, I have full spinal. I just had my baby and All right. I, I just I'm sorry. Just relax. There's some, there's some Kleenex for you. This is Kleenex for you. I'm sorry. All right, all right. I know it's not that big, but it's, it's me. It's me. I just... <laughs> Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. We'll put you at ease. Talk, tell us about the baby. Um, well, it, he's two months. Baby's two months old? Yeah. What's the baby's name? Brayson. Yeah. How many children do you have? This is my first. Yeah. Well, it's a wonderful event. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No worries. No worries. Just relax and don't be concerned. All right. Let me time. ask you a question. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, don't, don't apologize. Take your time. Don't worry about it. Don't be sorry. What are you nervous about? Everything. I've never been to court. <laughs> okay. Am I, making, am I making you nervous? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not trying to make you nervous. All right. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to dismiss the red light ticket. Okay. okay? Because even though Inspector Quinn was questionable, I think you were trying to stop. <laughs> I, did, I did notice that afterwards, Judge. Did you notice you were trying to stop? I did. Oh, I did. I now he looking, thinks you're trying to I stop, I was looking too, at the wrong okay? video. So that helps you. Now you've got three $20 parking tickets. They have all tripled to $60. I'm going to waive the penalties. So it's going to cost you a total of $60 for everything. 
I'm so sorry for crying. I'm so sorry. And you got a boot fee of $100. The boot fee is mandatory. How much of that can you pay today? I have 60 on me. All right, I'm going to release the boot. I'm not going to take the sixty dollars from you. You got a baby, so. Okay, that's that's so fine. I'm going to release. The, I'm going to release the boot. Okay. All right. Then how much can you pay a week after that? Um, I'm just waiting for my TCI to come in. Um, you can just mail it in. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. They'll tell you where to mail it. But how, how much can you pay a week? Um, I can do twenty. Twenty is fine. That's can you okay. afford twenty? I'm just waiting to see how much I would get from my TCI. And then after that, I can send out how much you guys need me to send out. No, don't, don't overdo it. Worry, t take care of the baby first, then worry about the parking tickets. Okay. Okay. Don't, nothing, bad is, nothing bad is going to happen here. Right, do you understand that? Mm -hmm. right, just relax. Just I'm relax. trying. I almost never, ever release a boot unless we get $100. Almost never. In your case, I'm going to release it with no money. Okay. okay. I almost never do that. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Come on. How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow. Your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, Go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.